Hello and welcome to Alternate Image Raid. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today I want to talk a little bit about this Champion Chase tournament for Emic Trunkheart. And by the time this launches, it won't be so much use for here, although there, there will be still some hours you can get into this if you haven't already gotten this done. But this is more for learning how to do this long term. So I'm going to discuss a little bit about some of my strategy on this Champion Chase tournament, a bit of how to maximize points here, and uh, how to how to limit the amount of resources you need. Also, uh, a couple general tips in regards to these chase tournaments in these fusion events. So the first and and most obvious thing, obviously, I'm gonna have to pull some shards. So we'll get those in this video at some point in time. Uh, I'm gonna be pulling ancient shards. This is actually a great time to pull ancients. We have a two X going on. The only really better time, in my opinion, is if there was a guaranteed. And there isn't for this, but 2x is still an awesome time to pull, particularly given that during the tournaments, the quality of the champion that you pull is what counts. So I'm going to have twice as much chance to get epics and legendaries while pulling relatively cheap shards, so I'm likely to get a lot of points. Again, those pulls will be in this video, probably towards the end. I'm going to go over some of the little tips first. Uh, the next thing that I'm doing here is I'm actually doing this earlier than is optimal from a certain position so i will be summoning a few of these uh champions through their fragments i have enough to summon two right now and i could get more with events that are going on currently so if i finish the champion training event which i will and i'm not really that far away i probably could finish this maybe not tonight but prior to when this video would have gone live um i could have got these extra 25 points the dungeon divers probably not uh, getting in this time frame that I would that I would be comfortable with, but also the uh, classic arena. I'm not that far off. This would be pretty easy to get as well. However, I probably wouldn't be doing it until the last day of the champion chase tournament. I would be. Uh, this is the evening of the day before where I'm at recording this right now. I probably wouldn't be doing this until the afternoon or evening of this finishing which leads to the possibility of missing it. If you can avoid doing these things at the last minute, that is ideal because your internet goes down, something weird happens, life happens, you miss these fragments, and now you're out the entire fusion if you're going for the legendary. So the benefit of doing this early, and I'm going to have at least one extra of this epic to fuse, is that'll be some more points towards pushing for this book. If I'd like to, I probably will end up pushing for that book. It really depends on how many shards I have to pull to get to this. But I also have a couple of these other fusions I can pull if I need to, or, or fragment summon, sorry. Uh, I'd rather save these for needing some bonus points for uh, CVC. Uh, the epics aren't too many points for those, so I might pull these epics. This will be 500 points. This is another 500 points. So I have a thousand extra if I need it here. Um, but particularly with my gems, I have a big stockpile of gems. I can uh, pull ancient shards pretty liberally, and if the guaranteed comes up, I can kind of buy my way back into that with my with my gems here. So we're going to pull a bunch of ancients and go after that. And again, I'm going to fuse two of these. I'm probably going to do this last just so it's not cluttering up. No, I'm going to do it first because I, I don't want to have to do math repeatedly on the points. We'll summon these two. Again, I'll end up summoning another one after after this video, after this, uh, just because it'll it'll happen during this time frame. And I want to mention one other thing before I get to the polls uh, about some extra double dipping that's going on right now. So I'm in a champion training event too. This champion training event is going to greatly benefit by getting a bunch of extra uh, three, four star champions uh, ready to, to turn into food for, for that training event. So... I'm going to be pulling, filling up my champion roster with champions that I can then feed immediately in. It's going to be a bunch of easy points coming in for the, the training event. So I'm using some of the, the fusions fragments in order to get the, uh, the chase, uh, the champion chase tournament to get my points for that. I'm going to be using those, those poles I summoned from that to go after the, the training event. It's just really versatile use of these points. It is like lightly triple dipping on this one and i think that's really important to pay attention to when doing this um, i did another video recently where i actually talked about the true cost of one of these fusions 
It wasn't a, a fragment fusion hybrid like this specifically. This will be uh, really, I guess, less cost, but but it's a little bit more risky to get. Um, and in that video, uh, spoilers on that one a little bit, but it's it's the cost wasn't very much. The actual net difference in resource sources on my account was low. I'll put that in the description below if you'd like to check out. Uh, there's a part one and part two to that video. But yeah, so it's it's uh these are these again great to go after. And the the value of getting these uh, resources from one area to use the next area is both really nice and just to be efficiency for your account, but also the way you look at these fusion events. Because if you look at it like I have to do, that all of these events are costs, that these cost shards and this costs energy and this costs energy, but not really realizing that yes, these cost energy and these do cost shards, but those shards also pay for this in a way, which reduces the energy cost of this. The energy that's going into those dungeon events are also covering this dungeon divers event and then the all of that gear that that i mean honestly the most of the gear you get you don't use that silver turns into what pays for the artifact enhancement event so i haven't really used any silver and i'm up 100 gems on this event so far like of course i'm getting gems from other places and just these things but it's not it's not a net tax to my account to do one of these uh, summons so anyway that's where we're at I'm going to pull these. They're probably going to be a little bit of cutting because you see I don't really have a lot of slots left, so I'm going to have to feed some of these champions as I pull them unless I just get a ton of legendaries. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so before I get to pulling, let's get these two in. I almost forgot to do that. Two hundred and fifty points. We shall do two hundred and fifty points again. And another one runs in. It's kind of nice to see. So we are 500 points out of the 3625, I believe it was, we needed. And let's see how this uh, these pulls work. Double epic, already triple epic, quadruple epic. And a legendary. I mean, not a great legendary. And and uh, so many duplicates. Uh, Fenshi, I pull like every time I can make a video. Sinesha is great. But that was 1,500 points for this. We are 2,000 points, basically, on our way to 3,600. The point value of that poll was amazing. The The content of it for my account, not so great, but still... Wow, another Legendary. This is really silly. I don't think I have a Black Knight yet. Um, 8,300 points. Like, if we did that again, we'd be done. Only one Epic this time. It is a duplicate. I do believe Black Knight is unique to my account. I'm not sure. Let's, let's see what it even does. Um... One chance of a provoke. We have continuous heal, increased defense. We have damage increases. There are probably some unkillable. Yeah, so so he gets taunts people into hitting him. He gets unkillable if he's about to die, and he does a buttload of damage when that happens, and heals the team a little bit. I mean, there's probably some niche uses for him. I don't really see him happening a lot anywhere that I've noticed. I could just be missing that, but. Let's do one more poll. After this poll, I'm going to go check the total points because uh, I don't feel like mathing double here. I don't know if I have a Deathless. I definitely don't have a Tereske. So that's exciting. A Dark Elf that is probably brand new. One enemy two times, one enemy three times, all enemies. Decrease res. That's, that's an interesting... Uh, interesting i don't really know where i'd use them let's see deathless as well oh no i have this i recognize that champion from that angle i believe let's go see the points wow so that was incredibly lucky obviously getting those two legendaries is just absurd on the luck uh that's that's Really great odds. I'll go look at those odds in a second. We will claim all this, but the energy, I don't want the energy to sit filling up. I know my energy's full right now, but I'll use that as soon as I'm done recording. I am very close to this reward. Obviously, like we talked, I'm going to have one more of these to summon for this event. That'll bring me, it'll bring me over 4,000 points. So for that, just for the sake of this video, because I was kind of expecting to have to pull more, I'm going to hit another 10 pull of this. I probably won't go past that regardless of what we pull. I mean, let's actually, no, if we pull another legendary, I'm going to do another pull just because what's happening right now. But let's just see what we get. 
It'll get me closer to where I need to be in the end of this anyway. Two epics, three epics, 820 points. Amazing. That is going to be almost all the way where we need to be right after I get... Uh, actually, maybe further than we need to be. Actually, I think I'm already there. Who cares about math? We're where we need to be. The, the odds have been really great. So let's check this out. This is with the, the the multiply chance going on right now. So each one of these has a 1% chance of being legendary. It, that that doesn't work out to 10% per pull, but it's it's really close enough for, for all intents and purposes. It's something less than that. Somebody who's good at stats could probably do the math and drop it in the comments if they'd like. Same thing with, with the epics. So the 16% chance like we could expect to get uh, in a 10 pull, two epics on average, I think would come to something like that. It's It's pretty close. Obviously, I got way above that on both terms of the epics and legendaries. The odds are really good. The 2x still, of course, doubles your odds of what happened to me happening, and that is excellent. Yeah, that's, uh... I actually got all the way where we needed to go, just from that. I probably won't go after this one, but, I mean, with, with those poles being good as they were... Maybe I take another ten pull. It'll be it'll be off uh, off recording. Uh, we'll see how I feel after I finish my uh, the champion training event that's going on. But pretty excellent, actually. We're one more of the events closer to pulling another one of these, so I only actually have to get one more event done to to pull this to get another two hundred fifty points towards this and be that much closer. And thinking about it now, I'm glad I thought about it before I finish this video. Uh, we have to level these up for this fusion. So they have to get leveled to 40, they have to get ascended um, all the way up, and then we have to uh, you know, rank them up and take them to 50. So just for what I'm going to be able to do pretty much right now, I'm going to hit two of these all the way up, and that's probably going to do yeah, maybe not all the points I need for my tournament, but a chunk of them. When I finish the tournament, I'm going to get the points for the next one. That'll give me more points for the the, uh, the champion training event. Sorry, not tournament. Getting those done probably won't get me to here, but it'll get me close. When I get this done, getting that ranked and leveled up is going to get me some more points closer to this. Because I'm probably going to go after the legendary skill tome. I typically do for these. Guaranteed skill tomes is nice. Just doing what I need to do to complete the fusion is going to get me more rewards for free. Or at least in a way that I'm already getting them anyway, so I might as well get that extra value. So that's it. So we're getting uh, the fusion summons, help points for the, the summon event, which gives us food for the champion training event, which gives us points to go back in here. Filling up these guys is going to give us more points for the champion training event, uh, which gives us another set of fragments to summon more and give us more points for the summon event, which gives us more champs for the... Uh, champion training event it's it's just it comes really nice it's not not as costly as it seems going after this sort of thing of course it would be more costly if i didn't get such good odds on my ancient shard pulls uh, realistically you could expect to take another you know 10 20 pulls to to accomplish what the point value we need to get to but at that point i mean 60 ancients for 60 ancients for a guaranteed legendary is still better than your odds a pulling during a 2x so even if even if you were were not doing a 2x when this event happened the cost to get a guaranteed and this guy's pretty good like i've already talked about him in in the uh last video i believe is worth it's worth pulling it's gonna be pretty nice um yeah so anyway this has been a raid shadow legends video from alternate image raid if you like, like. If you love, sub. If you have something to say, definitely say in the comments. I'd like to hear what you think about the video, the channel, uh, your day, I guess, um, the math on the statistics of things. And if you dislike the video, feel free to smash that dislike button as it's still engaging for the channel. And as always, have a great day.